Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I wanted to talk briefly about a subject that is near and dear to me, which is Home Assistant Supervised. Yes, you've seen my previous video on that. Unfortunately, there's bad news. The supervised installation of Home Assistant is going into deprecation. So that means it will no longer be supported in future releases. And if we take a look over here at the installation page here for Home Assistant, you'll notice if you scroll down a little bit that there is unfortunately a couple of installation types that are suspiciously missing from the install matrix here. And that would be both the uh, Home Assistant supervised version and then Home Assistant core, which I never really touched on in previous videos. I'm not a big fan of that particular use, but both of those are going into deprecation. What does this mean for you? A couple of things, you have time, okay? This isn't a tomorrow thing. This goes into effect as of the 2025.12 release of Home Assistant, which will be late in the 2025 year. And after that, you will no longer be able to get support if you're having any difficulties on that. So between now and then, my recommendation is to go ahead and move into a supported version. So the, the two versions that are supported today are HAOS, and then if you'd rather run it off on your own, you can use the container edition. Now, I have to say, as I've always said, the Home Assistant OS install is the gold standard and the way to go. That's what I use personally in my home, and it's just an appliance. You just load it up, and you let it do its thing, the updates come, you keep up with them, and it's well supported. That's the key here. You can run the container version as well. If you're already really good with containers, that's an area I love and I consider myself to be good with containers, uh, you can run that over there, but it has a distinct problem where you don't have any add-ons from the ecosystem available. Add-ons themselves, yes, they are containers. However, you're on your own to get those deployed and figure out how to wire those into a web UI that you can reach them as opposed to having to access those add-ons individually. It just takes an awful lot of, frankly, unnecessary work. So I'm really a big fan of keeping your Home Assistant deployment as a fully standalone appliance that's just built into your home and it just runs, it just works. You don't wanna fiddle with it all the time. If you are running the supervised version of Home Assistant, let's get you migrated to HAOS. My recommendation is always going to be the Raspberry Pi 5. It's a very powerful single board computer. It's relatively inexpensive. You could typically get that for $100 or a little bit less. There's also other options here. If you browse the Home Assistant installation site here, Home Assistant Green, uh, which is a little bit easier to get set up, not quite as powerful. Uh, and then there's other variants. Uh, Home Assistant Yellow uses the Raspberry Pi compute module. If you happen to have one of those sitting around and you wanna repurpose it, great. Uh, but I'll, I'll always recommend that Raspberry Pi 5. I'm gonna drop a link down below to just a good package that I recommend if, if you don't have any Home Assistant today or if you're in an unsupported platform and you need to get away from it, go ahead and get that ordered and get going. Let's talk for a minute about why it is deprecated. If we go over to that deprecation announcement, I'll throw a link down to that below if you're having trouble finding it. It really comes down to supportability and what's out there in the wild for Home Assistant to be able to support. I think this pie chart really breaks it down really well of what's out there as far as the install base. The overwhelming use is the operating system, Home Assistant operating system that's there in the blue. You can see that's more than 75% of the install base. Next up is con the containerized version, which uh, that looks like it's about uh, 15 to 20% of the slice. And then the two tiniest slices here would be the core and the supervised in gray, uh, just uh, clocking it at a very small percentage of the install base out there. So you, you can see why as developers and supporters and maintainers of the Home Assistant core components that uh, these would be heavily on the target to go ahead and roll off focus all of their efforts on Home Assistant OS and not have to support this really wide installation base out there uh, that doesn't have a lot of usage really. So 
any rate, hope that doesn't come as a huge shock to you out there if, the, if you're running in the supervised, but it's gonna be time to migrate away. You've got a few months yet before it officially falls off of support. Again, that is the 2025.12 release, which should come up in December of 2025. Feel free to drop a comment down there. I'm happy to get you started. Let's get your home assistant migrated over to a properly supported platform that'll serve you well for years to come. Thanks for checking in today, guys. Talk to you soon.